Lex letters on the Public Accounts Committee were shocked when Brigadier Flavia Vyekwaso introduced herself as the acting president of Uganda Netball Federation. The former Army MP was in the company of Sarah Kitiobabirie, who was elected president of the Federation. You have a president and an acting president. Because if someone has simply gone on leave, that person is not replaced by an acting president. It prompted the need for an explanation to an acknowledgement that Babirie is away on a 90-day forced leave from May to the end of July. I introduced myself as the acting president. And this uh, arose out of uh, several issues that have been on concerning the federation, governance issues, accountability. Chair, I, I think she meant that I'm on leave till the 21st of July. And she's the one in the office. The Lex letters were concerned at the reported animosity between Federation officials and the National Council of Sports. The appearance was called to hear the Federation's account to the audit query raised by the Auditor General on the funds dispersed to the Federation by the National Council of Sports. Among these audit queries is 100 million shillings to facilitate the Federation to sponsor a male netball championship in South Africa. Now, along the way, we are talking about 30 million. So just Try to explain how the 40 became 30. The 30 million was given to National Council to Dr. Gwell as a kickback. Whatever I'm saying, Honorable, I can repeat it a million times. I've said this like in 20 meetings, and this is part of the genesis of what we are going through as Netball. In the same manner, she disputed the documents in the possession of the committee, showing that she approved the accountability of the funds. Sarah Bavidi is this your letter? Honorable Chair, I wish to inform this committee, this honorable committee, that it's not my letter. The committee plans to summon back Sports Council to answer questions about the disputed documents. The matter had earlier also been raised when a select house committee investigated the National Council of Sports. At the time, it was recommended that the resources are channeled directly to the federations rather than the National Council of Sports. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. And then uh, have some tea.